Drenching rain may keep some people inside, <laughs> but for Dana de Leon, yeah. this is perfect weather. This is my, this is what pays for my job is storm water and I love it. That's because she's able to showcase Tacoma's work in cleaning up storm water before it re-enters the South Sound. The rest of it goes into these troughs. In 2015, the city began work on a storm water treatment facility right at the entrance of Point Defiance Park. The facility is made up of six cascading pools that send water through troughs and treatment cells before sending as much as 8 million gallons of treated water back into Puget Sound. Leon says it's vital that this work is done to undo decades of harm to the environment. We've had over 100 years of industrializing Puget Sound, and it has actually made some areas dead, like completely wiped critters out. So as part of this now, over time, with the Clean Water Act and funding for facilities such as this, we're cleaning the water up now, and we can revitalize Puget Sound. But climate change could bring a new challenge to the cleanup efforts. Leon says the region could see more intense rainfall in the future, which could increase stormwater runoff into our local waterway. Which is why Leon says Tacoma needs more facilities like this. Otherwise, the entire ecosystem could be harmed. We might kill more salmon. And if we kill more salmon, then, you know, we're going to lose our southern resident orcas. And we don't want to do that. We want to clean this water up, preserve the salmon, preserve the whole food chain for the Puget Sound. The Puget Sound Regional Council, which helped put this tour together, says it's also helping other facilities like this get set up across the region, including in places like Kirkland, Kitsap County, and Puyallup. From Point Defiance, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.